Yo, 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 what's up, my scrubs? The despair, it continues. It, this train isn't stopping yet, all right? Not until we beat this game, and I'm finally free of these shackles and chains. Welcome back. Hi. A few days ago. All right. Before we continue hey on, check out last if episode. We just did the last class oh. trial where a certain person died. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what happens in this game, guys. You might want to go check it out. It was pretty crazy. It was interesting to say the least. Uh, yeah, check it out. All right, what is going to happen? Oh! I get that this is probably pretty confusing seeing yourself like this. Seeing yourself like this? Rontaro! He's back! I wanted this so bad. He was the cool, like the coolest looking character. And I know I'm biased because I have green hair, but yeah. Yes, I should start from the beginning. Please do. That's the way it is. Now, Monokuma probably already told you this, but just in case, this killing game will continue until there are only two people. Two? Left. Two people? Come on, all right, that's that's not a lot of people. <laughs> now, the important part of that rule is that. Oh, there is one more. What? Well, the truth is, this isn't your first. First what? Anyone who finds out who you are is gonna come for you. So watch your back. Trust no one. And never forget. You wanted this killing game. So you have to win, no matter what. You wanted it? So this is a, a video to Rantaro himself. Wait, I gotta go freaking back. By the way, I fixed the controls now, guys. Thank God. <laughs> you guys told me <laughs> it was so easy too, but like, yeah, anyway. This isn't your first. Your first killing game, I'm assuming? No matter what. Oh my god. What a good start. Chapter four. I I'm I'm gonna I guess if there's six chapters. Five or six chapters. We're already 40 hours in the game. 40 hours. Actually, that's probably due to because I left the game on all night. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't think that actually counts. But we're, we're quite a ways in. The morning after the third class trial. After waking up for Monica's announcement, I headed to the dining hall as always. The ending to the last episode was the most exciting part, I think. Not even the class trial, but I think the ending was more exciting than anything. Uh, good morning, everyone. <sighs> yes, good morning. Good morning. Ah. No one knows what to say after what happened. <laughs> There's a dark mood in the air of the dining hall today. Yeah, that'll that'll blame them. As to be expected, yes. Oh god. I did not expect um Korikyo to be the way that he was. Well, the two exceptions. What's wrong, bro? No, bro, what's wrong with you, bro? You better freaking live, bro. So we got Broski. Bro man's can continue, man. Seriously, he can't die. Ah, please. I hope there's a cure. Whatever's wrong with him, he can't die. You can't kill Kaito off. I love him. <laughs> if you don't eat, then Gonzo will eat you instead of Shuichi. Huh? Eat me? Don't you mean my breakfast? You know... Speaking of Gonzo, where is he? I haven't seen him this morning. Hmm. Game. No, leave Gonzo out of this. He's probably hmm. still sleeping. Ah. Yeah, Miyu, God, she says the worst things ever. Like, the worst thing you could possibly say, Miyu will say it. Last episode, I didn't censor like things. It sucked. This atmosphere is heavy. Everyone's really taking a mental beating. You guys have no energy. You need to look alive. You're still teenagers. Hey, Miko. Okay. Your good mornings are too quiet. Hey, they think that they're teenagers. They they could all be 40 years old. You don't know. Can't just make assumptions like that, Himiko. You're, they're probably all in cryo chambers. I don't know. I'm expecting that kind of ending. Ending. Your good mornings are too quiet. It's because you're too quiet. That, it's because you're so quiet that you feel down. Uh, hey. I didn't mean you should sigh louder. <laughs> uh. Weird. I thought you'd be the most depressed out of all of us. Hmm. Of course I'm depressed. This is the most depressed I've been in all my 200 million years. What is 200 this? million years? But... It's because she's like a witch or something. Uh, being depressed won't help those who died. Rest in peace. Rip. Tenko and Angie too. If I stay depressed, they won't be able to rest in peace either. Okay. What's well, a new little animation there? Oh, she's taking her hat off too. She's following in the footsteps of Shuichi. So in order to make their deaths have meaning, I've decided to live my life with positivity. So anyway, please take care of the new me. You're out of breath already? You're going full speed out of the gate. Yeah. But it's like Himiko said, those of us left need to look to the future and live for all the other sakes. Right? Yes, le let's get cheer up and work hard. This game is just getting started. I, I don't know. <laughs> Last episode when he says, oh my god. 
I don't know why that got me. Hey, Kokichi might be a little devil, uh, but he, there's something likable about him. I, I get it. I get why he's so popular now. I like Kokichi. Game? Oh, oh isn't that what we're talking about? <laughs> Uh, but now that there's less people, I might be the next victim. Wow. Wow, so exciting, but I don't- I definitely don't want to die. <laughs> well, I guess that's the same for everyone else. <laughs> it's very necessary that I do the laughing. You're still saying crap like that at a time like- Just then the door of the dining hall burst open and- Wait, who is- who is that? Oh, Gonta! This big problem- Everyone this serious! Ow. Oh no, the colossal high school girl is on the other side of the wall, isn't she? Hey, how do you know about her? <laughs> how do you know about Sakura? Oh, maybe not that serious, but Gonzo went to Courtyard before coming here. Could it be? The graffiti, was there more added to it? Mm. Yeah, more letters added. Yeah, they didn't like mention anything last freaking whole chapter. This huh? word is... Oh, wait, wait, wait. This word is nine... Oh my god, I don't know. <laughs> the swords or maybe this world? What about the world? What does it mean? Is there some kind of crazy story going on? It's probably just graffiti, right? We should probably no. ignore it. No, I think that's a... I don't think that's a good idea. You want to die? <laughs> no, no. Nani? Uh, all right. That's just a habit of hers, but my heart skips a beat every time. No one here takes credit for it, right? But now there's more added to it. It must have some meaning. You know... So, seriously, none of you here uh, wrote it? If this is a prank, you'd better speak up. What? But Gonta stumbled into the writing by coincidence, right? If it was a prank, then they would have wouldn't have done it in a more obvious spot, not in the grass. There's nothing more depressing than an unnoticed prank. Uh Every word that comes out of her mouth is... <laughs> Something that I can't say. It's like a Bob. No one wants to fuck. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I had to. You two don't like it, okay? Well, it's just the. It's just Gonta writing it since he was the first one to find. Gonta never do that. Uh, Gonta never make trouble for anyone. That's what Kokichi's getting me, man. You can't. You can't blame Gonta for anything, dude. The only way Gonta's killing someone in this game is if they step on an ant or something. You know? I can see that, and he's fully justified. It's ungentlemanly. What is that writing? More and more, it gets added. Who's doing it? What does it mean? Why one of the Monocubs? I don't know. Or Monokuma, just screw him with us. Well, I don't really get it, but maybe it's some kind of clue. Well done. Thanks for the report, Gonta. Mm. Gonta just glad to help. Gonta wants you help, even little. Tell Gonta if you need help with something, okay? Okay. Okay, got it. I'll let you know if I want you to punch someone. Wait. No, you don't get to tell Gonta what to do anymore. Gonta. Yeah, Gonta learned lesson after insect beat and greet. Man. Ah, boring. Oh, there he is, the bear himself. Oh, my eyes are, ears are burning. Are you guys talking about me again? You must love me. Yay! Are you getting dizzy from the face I make when I concentrate really hard? Actually. Your face, it's always the same, isn't it? Yeah. Never yeah. mind that. You guys are probably eager for it, right? My prize, that is. Right, you guys can't live without getting a prize right now, right? That's what I thought, so I brought a pri prize. Prize and your sign. Oh, there's like two left now, huh? That's crazy. That's why I think there's only two more chapters. It's gonna be this one and then one more. That's, that would be two. Ever? For, and I need to know why. Why does a uh, Monica die every time? There's gotta be a symbol. It's, it's a symbolizes something. What's an Earth sign? That's what I want to know. Freaking tell me, please, Gabe. Oh my, forgetting your catchphrase is like the kiss of death for a mascot, you know? Yeah, she is the only one that said it, after all. Because I'm a mascot, get it? That wasn't even a joke. There was no setup or punchline, nothing. By the way, who's the pink stuffed pig and why is she talking to me? Yeah, he seemed to have amnesia last episode. I don't know why. Momotaro's head is busted. One solid rock should make him remember. Oh, yeah, but I was two. <laughs> Where am I? Where's Kaoru? But your character is completely different now. Kaoru? Pops, my family, and you. Thank you. For loving me! Come on! Remember already! Dude, forget, what are these bears smoking? They're so freaking cute! He said it, I have to read it. No. I've had uh, about enough of them. Hey! Hey, give us some loving too! I want my reward already! Mm -hmm. Why didn't you get so friendly with Monokuma, Kokichi? Now, but yeah, you should probably you probably should kiss his butt, honestly, at this point. What? Ta-da! The legendary Levy Stone, the priceless Octo Brush, and Octo Brush? What is this freaking Splatoon? A card key! Which just so happens to be the motive too! What is it? Oh, what does the card key go to? Don't tell me it's like to leave. That'd be crazy. Motive? Hey! Did you say motive? Yeah! Yep, this mysterious card key is your next motive! Oh, no. The classic carrot and stick approach. No one can work a carrot or stick like daddy. Huh? 
Huh? Screw your scared your carroted stick. Give me whoops and chains all the way. No. A card key is the motive? What does that even mean? Mm. So the new area you can open with the card key. Is that where the real motive is? <laughs> uh, that's a secret. Why don't you use it if you're so curious? Please wait. No, we shouldn't. If we want to prevent another murder from happening. <laughs> you know, like, I'll take that card key then. Did he actually get it? No can do that. But that Monokuma's motive. What if another murder happened? Uh -huh. I wouldn't mind that at all, you know. What? Because Because this is the killing game, and we're the players, plain and simple. Why wouldn't the players play the game? Don't screw around. Quit screwing around and just give it to no us. No way. See ya. Oh, he actually did take it. How did Monokuma let this happen? Wait up! Kokichi ran out of the dining hall pursued by Kaito. Hey, Kaito is not supposed to be freaking running right now. Oh my god. This actually kind of like, I don't know if it's connected, guys, but like, he couldn't do that many push-ups before? Is it because he was sick? I just kind of wonder if that, that that part of the story is actually connected. Running in the halls isn't normally allowed, but I suppose boys will be bullies. Yeah, yeah. Also, I forgot to mention this, but I've hidden another flashback light somewhere. Oh, well, good. I, I still can't believe Angie destroyed it. Like, that's why I didn't care that she died, because she freaking was turned out to be awful. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know. It might be your favorite character. I'm sorry, but I just didn't like her that much. All right. <laughs> so long. Farewell. What's gonna happen, guys? Huh? What's so long bear well mean? You forgot that too? Come on, let's go. So long, bear well. Yeah, it's just her saying it. It's so weird. Wait, what should we do? Kokichi and Kaito are gone. I'm worried. We cannot leave Kokichi alone with that card key motive. But aren't you curious about the flashback light too? That's true. Perhaps we should all search together and look for Kokichi as well. well. That's a good idea, but let us look for Kokichi while you focus on the search. Logical. Right now, we need to use your skills as a detective, Shuichi. Again? Right, in that case, let me hold on to that. I'll look around again. Yeah. Shuichi's grown up. He's become so reliable. Now that you're so respectable, I'll let you pet me if you want. Uh, if, like, these head pats or what? Like, oh, I see. So Shuichi gets that honor. Mm. Shuichi's so amazing. Gonzo wants to be useful to everyone, too. It's okay. Don't worry. When that time comes, we'll use your body as a meat shield. Mm. <laughs> okay, Gonzo, hope time come, too. No. Soon. No, you shouldn't hope that it comes. Uh, doesn't come. Or you should hope that it doesn't come. Okay, where to begin? I'll search for a place to use these mysterious items. Oh, I forgot about the places we can't access. I like I hardly ever walk around, so. Uh, oh god. I really don't know. If I'm not mistaken, I think there's something outside that we've um haven't like interacted with. But like, I actually never noticed that their lockers have names on it. Even less green than last time. There's still maintenance going on. What is this turning into? Every chapter this happens. Alright, no doubt that we're supposed hey. to go out here. Hey, so what's the deal with this place anyway? What kind of facility was it before? That's a good question. Hmm. Miu? Are they renovating an old facility? Perhaps constructing a new building? Yeah. At the start, Monokuma said that they were supposed to build the facilities for us. That's all, y'all. That's obviously- <laughs> Whoa, come on. That's obviously a lie. That flesh bear is stuffed with lies and crap. It's hard to imagine that they built this entire facility just for us. That's right. I also think that Monokuma was lying. He's an exceptionally deceitful being. Uh, um, being, well, he is a robot, isn't he? Shuichi, have you been robophobe this whole time? No. Oh no, that's what I meant. Well, that's how some people would be in the comments. You say one thing and all of a sudden, all of a sudden you're canceled and everyone hates you. I've loved you for years, but you said one thing that could be used as a wrong thing. No, you do not get the benefit of the doubt. You are, you, you must be. But when we finally learn what the Ultimate Academy really is, why does it exist? Is it really just a place for us to have the killing game? I'm gonna tell you right now, what I really want to do, uh, and I really regret not uh, beating it, but I want to go back in here into the backyard and go to, to the tunnel and escape. Like, I, I wanted, I should have played that game again. I really knew I should have went back, but I never did. That's my only regret in life. I, I want to Google it, like, after we beat the game, I want to, like, see if it's possible to actually get out. I'm sure it's not, but like, surely it means something. Oh no. Oh, this is sad. Himiko, no. She's staring at Tenko's lab. I should leave her alone. Hey, hey what is this, Shuichi? Don't stare at me so much, or I'll become even more beautiful. Uh, I see. Is she embarrassed about something she said herself? You. Did it look like I was blushing? Huh? What? You're right. Before, no one could tell that I was blushing, right? That's right, I remember. It's becoming more and more beautiful, just like me. Ah, really? Oh, you just made Himiko angry. Someone like you wouldn't know, but this is Himiko when she's mad. No, I was just blushing. That's totally random. Yeah, you looked a little embarrassed just now. Okay, then I'll keep at it. She's like trying to change. Hey, hey, good for her. Good for her. I, I, I need to work on showing my emotions better too. This is me when I'm happy. We've already done one into the casino, and the, the love hotel is not until after you beat the game. Unless there's something in Angie's lab, and that's why there's a paintbrush. That would make sense, I guess. Oh, wait, what about these rooms? Are they all cleaned up? Oh, wait, he doesn't want to go in there. 
Monokuma never backed down from his claim that the dead could, uh, could be resurrected. This academy isn't normal, I know that, but it's so abnormal that something like that can happen? I know there was messages in there, but I don't know what they meant. Oh, Kyo's lab. Let's, let's look at it. Kyo, you said, how you come, how you come to terms with death determines how you live. Perhaps I understand what you mean. By facing Kaede's death, I was able to embrace my own talent and move forward. But I don't know if I'll ever truly understand your answer. I don't understand it either. Of course! Oh my god, the scrolls. I forgot about these. This is where the paintbrush goes. Oh. What a love- that's- that looks pretty cool. What a mind that on my wall. Oh, oh, oh my god, another floor. What the heck? A staircase. It seems you can go upstairs from here. Hmm. A fifth floor, huh? How many floors does this school have? Oh, wow. It's a- <laughs> Monokuma could be your ankle or your devil. But how do they have a whole cathedral on top of the school? Oh my god, what am I about to walk in on? It looks like an ultimate lab. I should check inside. Oh, it's gotta be the cosplay lab. The ultimate cosplayer's lab. She can, like, change her backdrops. Bro, what a lab! I, she's got one of the coolest ones. She can take all kinds of Instagram pictures here. Um, even with all these materials and tools, if it's by myself, I see cosplay is fun to do with others, right? There's no point doing it by myself. Do you wanna try? Hey, Shuichi, do you wanna give it a try? Oh, please tell me he's going to. Huh? Me? Yeah, I think it's just plain fun to become fictional characters, to become a completely different person and feel like you're a part of a different world. Right, right? Doesn't that sound interesting? I ain't gonna lie, cosplay, like, I've never actually done it. Like, you know, very light stuff. It does look really fun though, I ain't gonna lie. But I'm investigating right oh, now. Right. Then let's do it later. Uh, let me know when you feel up to it. I'll help you become your favorite character, whether it's from an anime, manga, or game. What do you think Shuichi's favorite anime is? It's Dong and Rampa. However, even if you're just trying it out, you gotta cosplay with love. Uh, okay. Right. I really hope that happens in the future. It better. By the way, guys, I know a lot of you guys are probably commenting about this, but apparently uh, there's talks of a new Dong and Rampa game coming uh, within. Sometime. There's there's no like release date or anything, but the creator has talked about it. And it almost sounds like there's either a game in development or he's going to make one. So that's pretty exciting. I really want to play a brand new Danganronpa game that no one else has played because then I don't have to worry about spoilers. My god, that would be a, an experience. Okay, this looks like something from Zelda. Uh, oh, it's another All ultimate right. lab. I should check it out. The ultimate. Oh, it's mine. Oh. Wow, it's so old-timey. This looks like your research lab. Uh, okay. Is it right? Uh, Let me see what's in here, but I'm getting a bad feeling from this place. A bad feeling? Yeah. The heck's with these old pictures? Bro, I feel like for a detective's lab, his sucks. Like, <laughs> everyone gets all these cool things and he gets a rocking chair? Chemical shelf. Oh no, chem- <laughs> Whenever there's chemicals involved, someone's getting poisoned. It is gonna be part of a class trial. It looks like poison. Ah, we've seen this before, guys. Ah, so you think so too, huh? That's true. There's no way that could be a normal medicine in the ultimate detective's lab. She opened the cabinet's door. Mm. Yeah, I know that some. Uh, I know what some of these are. They're definitely poison. Yeah. In that case, we should try to dispose of them. We don't want anyone to accidentally. Even if we got rid of them, Monokuma would just replace them. How, how do you know? At least try. So it's useless doing that. It would only be a temporary solution. A temporary solution. She wants to make sure no one will ever use them. By the way. So even so, I'm surprised they have so many in here. There's a uh, poison for inst instantaneous death, as well as ones that can inflict various symptoms. Depending on how you use them, you can set up different gimmicks. But this doesn't feel like an ultimate detective's lab, more like a chemicals lab. See. Or chemists. It's a fine it's a fine line when it comes to knowing everything about crimes. I suppose that's right. There's a fine line between criminal and detective. Hmm, that's a good point though. Alright, bookshelf. There's a bunch of files lined up. It looks like about 50 of them. What are these files for? I picked one at random. Huh? Ah! It contained photographs of the murder scenes and the tricks the culprits used. Huh? What is this? I heard you I hurriedly looked through the other files and found that they were all similar. You don't know. It's a file containing all the tricks used for murders? That's it appears so. Uh... Did this incident really happen? No. I can't be sure, but there are pictures of the scene. All these cases seem uh, feasible. Mm. Then this would make for a good guideline for anyone who wants to commit murder. I'm kidding. Well, I doubt anyone's that stupid to use a file accessible to everyone. Maki picked up a file at random and started flipping through it. Got a minute? This file doesn't have any photographs, it's just a drawing of illustrations and huh? her butt. Illustrations? Maki began pulling files one after another off the shelf. Okay. The newer files have photographs, but the older ones have illustrations? Uh, um, but why? Are they. Are the old ones just fictional? They're like so old that there wasn't even photographs back then. Dang, this killing game's been going on 
forever. Anyway, I've investigated all the places that concern me. Everything here has to do with because. death. Well, this is your job as a detective, especially in this killing game. Now, why does it always got to be about death? Like, what if I need to solve the case of the lost puppy? Huh? Yeah, I know. The only time I can use my detective talent is after someone dies. A detective can't save anyone. I'm only useful after it's already too late. Do you want to die? <laughs> Poor Shuichi's in the wrong, he's in the wrong job. Okay, so she asked, do I want to die? As she always does, because that's her catchphrase. And here comes Kaito. Now, nah, I understand why Makiro would say that. Your face looked pretty gloomy. With a face as gloomy as that, I can't believe you're, you're my sidekick. Keep your chin up. Be more proud of yourself, Shuichi. Everything you've done up until now, till now was amazing. Uh, okay. Thanks. That's true. That's why you, do, that's why you should be careful. Uh. What do you mean? You don't know? Because of how well you did in the class trials. Future culprits have their eyes on you. The next culprit might come after you. Uh? Come after me. Don't worry about it. I really want to see that, man. I'd, I'd really love to see that. You don't need to worry about that. I won't let anyone mess with my sidekick. Leave it to me. I'm going to protect both of you. It's a hero's job to protect his sidekicks. I don't understand. What if I end up as a future culprit? Huh? Are you stupid? That's impossible. No. How can you believe in people so easily? I believe in you. Didn't I tell you before? I believe in people because I want to believe in them. <laughs> But if they betray me, it just means I made a bad call believing in them. <laughs> of course, you're one of the people I want to believe in, Maki Roll. Why are you even here? Did you finish playing tag with Kokichi? Jeez. I lost track of him. I can't find that guy anywhere. Uh, well, he's so um, small, he could probably fit in a dryer. Couldn't find him, but he still has the motive card, right? Uh, yeah, he should still have it. There's a chance that Kokichi could have used the card and gone somewhere. Yeah. Well, he ended up getting away, but look what I found. I got it. Hey, my boy! Flashback light! Hey, uh. You found one! Of course! I am worried about Kokichi, but I think we should deal with this first. Use it before someone destroys it again. Let's all gather in the dining hall. What? Uh huh, I'm coming too. Uh. Wait a minute. There's other places I want to check first. Can I meet you up uh, up with later? Look <laughs> at English? Yeah, I'll go ahead and head into the dining hall. Well, uh, you're not gonna check this place? I believe in you. I'll let Shuichi handle it. You got this, right, Shuichi? Uh, yeah, um, right. Uh. Then, once you're done, come to the dining hall. I'm calling it. Kaito's dead. Kaito's dying. You didn't even complain. You seriously are his sidekick now. I can't even argue with that. I'm gonna make some early predictions, alright? This is like, uh, the weather forecast for Danganronpa. There's like, no character- uh, like, I don't know. To me, the main characters I see are Kokichi, Shuichi, and, um, probably Gonta and Maki. But I can, for some reason, like, I just have a hunch, guys. Pull up my intuition. I could see Himiko dying, and I could see I could see Samogi dying, and um, I'm not exactly sure about Kibo, but maybe. Angie, you had strange methods, but you rejected the killing game and wanted us to live in harmony. But with all that taken away for some stupid reason, I never knew you were Atua, but I will never forget you. Bro, Shuichi, why you gotta be so sweet, dude? Oh, Karumi. Three more people have been sacrificed after you and Ryoma. I like how it does keep track and like, that's cool. Kaede, I know we haven't given up yet. We're going to use our talents to fight against all of this. I do miss Kaede though. Come on, it's not even fair, man. Like, I just wanna know if the game's gonna pull that again, like where like the main character dies. Like, I gotta see that. I'm still, I can't get over how shocked I was. I like how these two were just always next to each other. I mean, to be fair, they are the perfect match. She loves machines and he's a machine. Wait, oh, what the heck is, I've never seen this. What the heck? Okay, well, that's obviously where this goes. Levy stone. Oh, what is it? I don't know. The heck is that going out? Holy crap! What the heck is this? New class trial place or what? It, th doesn't it look like it? <laughs> the building just combined! <laughs> what did you do to my lab? It's going in super deep! It's a little sus. A little sus there. <laughs> it just stays like that. What the heck is this? A spaceship? I positive the strange building is an ultimate lab. From the machines and the sci-fi feel, I deduce this is Kibo's lab. Oh, Kibo's lab. <laughs> it makes sense now. What the heck? I'll check inside. I forgot about Kibo and his lab. Is that everyone's lab? Or have you seen Kokichi's lab yet? I feel like that we haven't. Maybe there's a reason for that. It looks like a maintenance room for a robot. There are machine parts everywhere. Dude, this looks sick. I knew it. It's definitely a Kibo's lab. Gives me like some fantasy star vibes. I don't know if anyone's played that game, but whose lab is this? Huh? Isn't it yours? No way! I don't want this. I don't like this sort of sci-fi technology. He wants something human-like. Can we leave now? Is that all right? But I imagine there's a lot of things in here that would really help you out. You should take a look. I don't want to be assisted by sci-fi technology. We shouldn't rely on the power of sci-fi for anything. Wouldn't that include you, Kibo? Right. Anyway, I would prefer a more Japanese theme since I like that food the most. Even though I can only stare at it. 
How come you prefer the food? <laughs> At the very least, I like some kimonos in my lab and porch with wind chimes. Uh, okay. Yeah, that would be nice. It doesn't seem like Kibo is going to use this lab. Well, he's free to do as he pleases, but no, nothing I can do about that. All right, I finished investigating all the items this time. Yeah, Mia will like it, I'm sure. All right, so let's, we gotta go back to the dining hall. Looks like everyone's here. Let's get started. Oh. What about you, Kokichi? Yeah. Forget about him. Uh, it's his fault for messing around like mm. that. Oh, he's, he's not here. Oh, okay. I guess he must be a real pro at hide and seek. With my I magically magic. looked over all the school, but he was nowhere to be found. What? Magically? Hmm. No one could find him, huh? Hey. He might have used the mode of his key card to enter a place we're unaware of. Hmm. Do you think that's where the real motive is being kept? Either way, it's worrisome. Wouldn't it be... Wouldn't that key card go to the freaking, um... The vaults, right? Like, that's the only place there was a key card slot. Oh, my God. Kokichi's learning all the secrets. He's just like Nagito, and he's... He's gonna just like hold all the secrets and we have to figure it out. Next time I see him, I just gotta catch him and ask. Anyway, let's try uh, out the flashback Actually, light. I'm still uneasy about the flashback lights. Are they really okay to use? No. Well, if we don't use them, our memories will never come back, you know? Yeah. Well, I hope we get a good one this time. I wanna I wanna see some good part of the story. For someone who looks like a canned tuna, you should make some good comebacks. What are you calling a wad of shredded fish? What was that? Wait, Kokichi. Hmm. I knew you'd find us here, but only because it's you. You got me! Thanks for the compliment. So why are all my merry friends gathered here? Is that alright? First things first, what did you do with that key card? Ah. Oh, so you're worried about that. Well, relax. Unfortunately, I couldn't use the key card. Huh? Couldn't use it. Yeah. I had no idea where to use it, so I just gave up instead. But I know! <laughs> you don't seem too disappointed about not being able to use it. I am disappointed, dang it. I wanted to use that key card. I smell an I smell another effing line. Cut it out. Whatever, talk to him talking to him was a waste of time. You know... We've got more important things to do. Ah. Oh, the flashback light. Let me see that. Kaito doesn't have the balls to turn on the switch. Ah. Of course I do! Oh, just like that. Okay. He turned it on. And once again, the world warped. It's like freaking science again. Oh. Ah, the memories! I've seen too much. The scenes that flew by inside my consciousness and what it all means. All at once, I remembered. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's it? The meteorites. What happened with the meteorites? I remember TV news and the internet talking about nonstop about those meteorites. What was that? There was a bunch of damage where I lived. People said it was only a matter of time. Okay. And researchers said that too. Similar meteorite impacts happened millions of years ago. All living organisms on Earth were annihilated. So... There were also a bunch of weird groups that started to show up in the streets. As the meteorites got worse, more people started saying it was the end of the world. Yes, I didn't read. <laughs> Going to hear that too. Unless someone does something, world will end. Those people were always handing out flyers on the street corners. I saw flyers all over the city too. They said mankind deserves damnation. What the heck? Trying to get some clues up in here. Where's Spider-Man when we need him? I remember seeing those posters, but... It must be, um... The Despair oh people, you know? I can't remember their name right now. But Junko's following. And the meteorites. What ended up happening with those meteorites? That's... We haven't seen any since we got here. Maybe they died down? What? Then what happened to that plan? The one to save the world from the meteorites? Could it be? Alright, I just remembered that. It was called the Gopher Project, right? It was the plan that all countries of the world came up to save humanity. Right. I remember that too, the Gopher Project. Oh, Gopher, okay. That obviously means it's underground. Okay. Didn't it fail? What? Uh, is that true? That's true. That's what I heard too, but I can't remember why. What's that mean? So we can't remember anything past that again. Uh, okay. I can't either. I don't remember anything about the Gopher. <laughs> I don't know why Gopher is a funny word. Mankind deserves damnation. Huh? You. <laughs> Mankind deserves damnation. What the heck? The fuck's going on? We're already damned here! Being stuck here with you losers is the worst hell there is! You! You losers part was unnecessary. Ah! Shut up, I'm tired of this! Let us out of here! Let us out! Come on, don't leave us in here! Pull us out! Seems like... She seems really upset. What happened? You, calm down! It's okay, Gonta will protect you! And in the end, the flashback light didn't help. It, it didn't connect uh, to the other memories. Yeah, like the... The ultimate hunt, of course, and uh... Well, it looks like kind of the same people, doesn't it? Like, almost. And then obviously the funerals. What does it all mean? The meteorites, the cult organization, the Gopher Project. How are they all connected? How do they re uh, relate to the Ultimate Academy? And what happened with the meteorites? So they just stopped? It'll be okay, Shuichi. Just a little more. Uh, see? We probably need one more. Well, thanks to Angie, right? 
They could have had that memory. Everything will start to connect after we remember one more thing. What is it, Kokichi? But... but I don't think I'd be surprised by the outcome of this situation. Like if we were actually all dead and this was all the afterlife. I don't, I, I honestly do. I think it's probably that. The afterlife? Why you quit saying stupid crap like that? It's not stupid, if meteorites can happen, then anything else can happen too. Come on, you're an astronaut, aren't you? Space is full of mysteries that we can't even fathom. That's why if the meteorites really did fall on us, anything could have happened. A mysterious virus could have spread or some weird technology. Alright, okay, you, you cut this too, a little too close to real life, uh, game. Or even an unknown substance brought to Earth that could have bent time and space. Yeah. I know, it's why was that highlighted? That's like science fiction. I thought our theme was magic. Uh, that's just your theme, Himiko. Uh, that's just Come stupid. On. It's like uh, some setting for some third-rate anime or game. Mm -hmm. Do you think I'm making this up? But then how would you explain the flashback lights, existals, and even Monokuma? We may be used to it now, but that kind of stuff goes against common sense, you know? Yeah, like reviving people from the dead? <laughs> Which means it wouldn't be too far-fetched if any of the things I mentioned actually happened. Shut up! Shut up! First off, I'm the only one here who gets to talk about space. My bad. Oh, you're right. Sorry, my bad. What uh, whatever, do? just hurry up so I can get out of here. Wait. You shouldn't think like that about getting out of here. Everyone seems very tired. We should probably disperse for the time being. Okay, so it's probably safe to say if they're here for a project, a, a reason, you know, just like all the other games. So you finally learned to read the air. Nice job, robot. I'll commit that to my I'm memory. learning every day. Hey! Before we go, Gonza put manhole cover back how it was. Cause Gonta if we want to challenge underground again, this time Gonta definitely. So no one's dumb. dumb enough to challenge that dumping. No, let me! I gotta try it again! Shut up! Don't look down on my hard yes. work! Himiko, you've really changed. Is what I like to say, but working hard at escaping from there is pointless. Well, no matter how much you've changed, of course you think that. Escape, escape, escape! You gotta let me, you gotta let me try it again. We can't keep going like this, we need to find a way out. I need to solve all these mysteries. After our conversation, we return, we return to our rooms. I don't understand what's going on here. I can't give up. I need to keep my promise to Kaede. I need to find the truth. I want you. Oh, it's time for training again. I feel like I haven't done it in a long time. All right, to the courtyard. Hey, he's actually Wait, training today. Ah, good, you're here, bro. It's been so long since the three of us had, have done true. this. It's because Kaito was scared of ghosts. Whoa. I wasn't scared? Wait, don't make me think about them. When I first met Maki and Kaito, I never would have imagined hanging out like this. Right. I could have. Anyway, let's get started. First off, 100 sit-ups. You guys better get pumped up. Oh, are they gonna start to notice that he's sick? I gotta know. Oh, he's One, doing it. Two, Dang, we're gonna get ripped. Three, Guys, I'm gonna do the Danganronpa ch uh, training challenge. Watch, it's gonna happen. I trained like Shuichi for a day. <laughs> 25, oh, 26, no! 27. No, I gotta do the Maki challenge. <laughs> Poor Shuichi. Honestly, that'd probably be me too, though. Maki, you're way too fast. When you really think about it, the universe is impossibly <laughs> fast. Dude, you're not even doing them. Hey, less talking, more working. What about your sit-ups? Kaito? Kaito slowly stood up, his body hesitant. <sighs> Sorry, gotta use the bathroom. Oh, he's gonna go hide it. Ah. Kaito suddenly began walking away towards the school building. I wonder what's wrong. He's not in much of a hurry of needing to go to the bathroom. That's true. Alright, poor needing to go to the bathroom. Do you want me to go check on him? I just finished doing my 100 sit-ups. Huh? What, already? But, but uh, you shouldn't go because it's the boys' bathroom. <laughs> hmm. Did that not occur to you? Do die. you want to die? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sure, it's fine. By the way, it seems like a good time to ask. Well, but did you like Kaede? Maki, what are you? What are you doing? Well, I assumed you didn't because that would be weird. Uh, um, Why would that be weird? I don't understand. Liking someone you just met, especially in a situation like this. They held hands. The. Lutest of things you could possibly do. Then tell me, under what circumstances is liking someone not weird? Huh? I don't know. I don't really understand uh, what that is. I only kill people. <laughs> nope. Never mind. Just forget what I ever no. asked. Forget you asked. Why did you bring this up, Maki? Like I'd know. No reason. I was only curious. Huh? Oh, dude, she's like Sundari 100%. Um. Maki, you're being cruel. You ask me a personal question, then act like you don't care. Got it. Were you guys making out while I was gone? <laughs> Perfect timing as always, Kaito. Uh, um, anyway, what's wrong, Kaito? Why did you leave all of a sudden? Uh, I drank too much water before training, but I emptied myself out, so now I'm good. Let's go. Dude, he's not gonna be able to hide it for very long. It's gonna happen in the worst of times. I really want to see if he just dies. Like, I don't want him to die, but if he is, I just like hope he dies and no one kills him, and it's just gonna be crazy. Because that's never happened. 
No one's just like drop dead, you know? Continue, I don't even recall you doing even one uh, sit up, Kaito. All right. So from the beginning, of course, you guys are gonna restart, restart with me. I already finished doing my 100. Huh. Don't be so cold. No road is long without good company, right? <laughs> I don't think that uh, phrase applies to this. Let your sweat wash away all <laughs> your sadness, fear, worry, and hardships. She, she's noticing that he's not doing them. He's still, he's still on his 100 probably. Just start moving your body and your pain will become memories before you know it. Then you should train too. Well, I don't have anything to worry about. Because, I mean, I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. Hey, no fair, Kaito. Dude, I'm going to be so mad. I don't want him to die, though. In the end, Kaito convinced us all to do our sit-ups over. But Kaito and I had to give up and only Maki was able to finish. Ah, I'm so tired. A lot's happened today, but there's still something bothering hmm. me. That flashback light this afternoon. All those meteorites. The Gulfian. Yeah. Okay. Okay, this is just- this is a flashback in itself. Yep. <clears throat> Needed some nightmares today. What the heck happened? <laughs> Give me some money. What the heck happened? Uh, this is totally different. Stop it! Don't kick me in the tummy. You can hit my face all you want, though. Ah! Just leave the money on the dresser and get out of here. <laughs> you weren't like this before. It used to be so nice. Ah! Something is definitely wrong. What happened to them overnight? Wow. I suppose it doesn't really matter. I should head to the dining hall. After I destroy my furniture. I don't know why, but the words I should head to the dining hall are always like really scary in these games. What makes me mad is that there's a shortcut here, but half the time it doesn't let you take it. Well, let me take it now. Oh, thank you. God. As soon as I entered the dining hall, I heard a loud voice echo through it. Please. But we gotta do it. If not now, then That's when? Impossible. Like I said, it's reckless. There are two existals, right? What? Got to know that, but no watching forgive. friends disappear, seeing everyone get weaker. Got to know can take this anymore. That's why got to go fight Monokuma. Huh? Dude, it's just like Sakura. It's almost exactly the same, and they're the same shape too. Like literally, this is the guy version of Sakura. Ah. Shuichi, good timing. Talk some sense into him. Got to say a, a bunch of uh, reckless stuff, and he won't listen to us. Going to want to help. Got to know it reckless, but it only way to save everyone. Waiting around doing nothing just make more victims. Please. That's why Gonta gotta risk his life. Real gentlemen would risk life. Gonta, Gonta gladly best. give up life to save everyone. On, Gonta, I get how you feel, but don't you think you're getting ahead of yourself? Wait. Oh my god, if Gonta gets poisoned, ah, if it's gonna be like the first game, that's gonna happen. That's the only way you're taking him down, is by feeding him. So even if you did go against him, it wouldn't stop the killing game. Huh? What? Huh? Why not? Hmm. Actually, why would uh, you even want to stop the killing game? It's just starting to get fun. It'd be a waste of time to stop it now. Why? You guys are all whack jobs. Is something wrong with your heads? Shut up! Something's wrong with your head. Ah. I don't tell me you guys aren't confident enough to win the game. Jeez, if you're really that much of a weenie, then you might actually lose, you know. But in my case, I'm full of confidence. I'll win this game no matter what. Huh? Win the game. What is it? Are you planning on becoming the next Blacken then? Hmm. Me, the next Blacken? <laughs> yeah, sure. If that would help me win, then I'd do it. No. Are you serious? Yeah. Of course I am. Games are only fun when you play them seriously, right? How so come on guys, let's enjoy this more. It's not often you get to play a killing game, you know. So who's gonna be the next victim? <laughs> the game can't continue until there's another victim, so someone start killing already. If you don't, then I'll kill someone instead, just like I promised, got it? That's enough! Why you, that's enough! Uh, Kaito shot at, ooh. He's attacking. Uh oh, bam. Oh, he hit him! Kokichi? What the hell, Jerry? Got into? Jerry, <laughs> you were messed up to begin with, but this is a whole nother level of weird. This is like the second time he's been punched. Yeah, in that way, like he is definitely the Nagito of this game. Like always getting punched. If you keep acting like this, I'm gonna knock your senses back into you. Um, you already hit him. Dude, Kaito is always doing talk no jutsu. Kaito, please stop. There is never a good reason to commit violence. Even minor aggressions can lead to atrocities such as murder. Kibo got through to him. Kaito uh, dropped his clenched fist. <sighs> Fine, I'll stop for now. But Kokichi, I hope this whole stupid speech of yours was a lie. Maybe... Gonta have to do it. If friends are gonna fight like this, then Gonta go fight Monokuma. You can't! Like I said, you can't! Please don't do anything reckless! Ah. Yeah, please don't, Gonta! Yeah, that's right. There's no need to be so reckless. Huh? Miyu? Did, Did I just hear Miyu be nice? The only thing you should be reckless with is that tree trunk. Himiko is what you would usually say, but what's with the uncharacteristic concern? You know. <laughs> what the heck? I'm serious. There's no reason for Gonta to do something so reckless. Booyah! 
<laughs> because I, Miyu Iruma, the gorgeous girl genius, will save you all. What's wrong? Save us. Sure. Uh, got it? Just wait a little longer. I'll bring you to the world where the killing game doesn't exist. Huh? A, what, like VR or something? <laughs> you just have to wait and see. I'll keep my plan a secret. I love being a tease. Gross. I've got a bad feeling about this. Uh, okay. Yeah, me too. Yeah, she's definitely... Uh, something to do with a computer. Maybe she figured it out. Okay, we go back to our rooms. Hey, where is she? This is an announcement. Uh, what's this place called again? Hmm? What time is it now? Oh, I forgot. Hey. Actually, I've always been alone. I forgot that too. Ooh. I can't remember. I feel like I used to have someone very important to me. Ah! I can't remember. I knew it. He's helpless without me. Oh, there she is. All right, time to go training. Kaito and Maki should be in the courtyard. I don't like this. There's no way Kaito is going to be okay. He's already showing signs. Make it sound like he's going to turn into a zombie. Dude, that would be crazy. <laughs> Plot twist. Oh, I see it. I saw it coming, guys. Freaking hmm. intuition right now. What's wrong? Do you have to go to the bathroom again? He's been like this because of what happened. What happened? Oh, you're not feeling well? Uh, nah, fine. My stomach just hurts is all. Uh, here for today's training instead of exercise. Huh. How about the three of us just talk? Huh? Huh? What? About what? Idiot. Nobody decides what they start talking about before they start. Well, let's go find somewhere to sit. Kaito picked a random spot in the courtyard. Okay. So what are we going to talk about? Okay. Didn't you just say we didn't have to decide that? Come on, man. That was just a joke. Uh, uh, right. Then let's talk about Maki. Me? What about me? You know, like general stuff about you. There's a lot of stuff we don't know. Oh, no, no, at least the, the, the trio's gotta stay together, man. For example, what blood type do you like? Oh, yeah, and like Japan, people care about blood types for some reason. It's like weird, I don't know. It's different, I should say, really. What Not weird. What type do I like? It's weird to me. Don't you mean, what's my blood type? Hmm? Did I say something weird? Well, whatever. <laughs> something like, yeah, like certain blood types are like more... I don't know what it is, but they want to like... People will actually care about their blood type because they want their child's blood type to be a certain blood type for whatever reason. I can't remember exactly. Kaito, you're kind of bad at this. Then you ask something. What's your question for her, huh? Am I like a guinea pig to you guys? <laughs> well, I have been meaning to ask. When we first met, you said you were the ultimate child caregiver. Why was that? Shuichi, that's way too direct. You can't just cut to the chase like that. Ah, uh, really? Sorry. All right, then. Let's play it safe and ask her about her favorite spaceship. Oh, no, that's too personal. I grew up in an orphanage. Hmm? Oh, that makes a lot of sense. I don't know anything about my parents. They were gone before I can remember. I feel like that is kind of the typical, like, assassination story, though. I feel like I've watched a movie about this. At the orphanage where I lived, the older kids had to take care of the younger ones. Yeah, we're getting that backstory. Because of that, I started looking after the younger ones. I see. So that wasn't a lie then. For some reason, kids like me, but I'm not particularly fond of taking care of them. Maybe that suits you better than being an assassin. The ultimate babysitter. It's not a matter of whether it suits me or not. I never had the right to choose from the start. Huh? The right to choose. <sighs> when I was around 10 years old, these strangers started visiting the orphanage. At first, they seemed like normal, kind men. With smiles on their faces, they watched the kids play, but the men never approached them. Thinking back on it, I'm sure they were scoping out our talents. Huh? They were scouting for assassins, but why were you picked? It's kind of like My Hero Academia in a way, huh? Everyone just wants the talent, you know? Okay. I didn't want to go- Okay, so I haven't, like, watched all of the anime of Danganronpa, but yeah, they, they kind of talk more about, like, why the, the talents are special, and, like, people without talents, the reserves, I should say, uh, like Hajime, get treated like crap, pretty much, by people, because they only- they only want- genius people. They don't care about if you don't have a talent. So, I like how that's kind of tying in a little bit. I still need to finish the anime, though. Whenever I do get around to doing it, I will, uh, make a review on it, or at least tell you my thoughts. I didn't want to go, but I heard that they would donate a huge sum of money if I did. I remember thinking that I had to go, but that was the beginning of hell. Was it gonna show her, like... Ever oh. since that day, I trained to become an assassin. I think I had some natural talent to begin with, but I worked incredibly hard as well. If I couldn't keep up as an assassin, the orphanage would no longer receive funding. And then, I wouldn't have a purpose in life anymore. Training was difficult. I vomited every day, and cried every night. But after vomiting and crying over and over again, my heart gradually became empty. Dude, and kids these days, they complain about not having Wi-Fi. Nah, I would too, I ain't gonna lie. Eventually. I got used to it. It was the same after my first job. 
For a while, I couldn't eat or sleep. But after doing this for such a long time, I felt numb. There were times I wondered why I had to kill these strangers. But I eventually stopped thinking about that. I adapted to the lifestyle of killing people, of stealing their lives, and of being a horrible person. Even to this day, I think the same thing after I finish a mission. What is it? What would I have been like if I stayed at the orphanage? I still think about that all the time. Maki sighed deeply after burying her soul. I like you, Maki. You're not horrible. You did what you had to do. <sighs> That's all. It wasn't an interesting story to listen to, was it? Uh, okay. History. No, Maki, that was the burden you've been carrying all of this. Ah. Jeez, you're carrying too many burdens for someone so small. You know. Well, I could say the same too, Shibichi. Uh, really? Uh, listen up. Don't try to shoulder everything on your own. You gotta trust other people. Once you're able to share your burdens with your friends, then you'll be stronger. <laughs> well, he already said that in the first chapter, so we know his burden. He doesn't want to be a detective, but he can't help it. He's just, you know, it's kind of a thing that was... It's kind of the cards he was dealt. I want to know more about Kaito. I want to know more about Rontaro, too, but he's dead. <laughs> so I'm sure th there'll be more. Well, if Makiro was able to talk this much, it means he, she's gotten a bit stronger already. It might be thanks to the training. Got it. Well, obviously. My training is based on a systematic method. Uh, That's um, kind of vague. Aw, oh, come on. Whenever you see this, it's always a bad sign. Ah. No. It might have been the first time I was able to actually have fun and forget this place. To protect my friends. I need to reveal the truth of this academy. I need to face the world and reveal it to the world. I'll remember you guys. I have to keep my friends alive. Ah, this game's got me connected now, man. That's how they get you. Oh, conversation between them. Hi, hello! Hey, white half's whiter than freshly made rice, his black half's blacker than the darkest night. What? Did you call for it's me? It's Mono 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 Monokuma! Mm. <laughs> you actually came. Hmm. I guess I'm allowed to do this, huh? Yeah, no one ever <laughs> summons him. Is it really okay for me to talk to you in private like this? Yeah. Technically it's not a rule violation. Besides, I can't pass up an opportunity to make the killing game more interesting or exciting. Right? Same thing. Right? I was thinking the same thing! This fun and vicious killing game is the only thing on my mind. With that said, you're not even gonna try to use that motive? You really don't you, get it. A crazy motive like this would be, uh, using a... A crazy motive like this should be used in a more dramatic way, no? That's what I've been thinking, so I tried coming up with ways to use well, it. You know. And I finally came up with an idea, so this is my proposal. A certain someone is planning something interesting. So if we use the motive there, <laughs> then I think that... Dude. I know you're talking about freaking Gonta. Then I think that would really spice up the games, or you, or Miyu, or Miyu. You really are an evil bastard. Yeah. <laughs> of course, I am the ultimate supreme leader, you know. Let's have more fun. Okay. He's obviously evil. <laughs> I will drag this world into the pits of terror, using my vi villainous power to commit evil. So he's finally showing his true colors. What would Kaito think? The only difference between him and Nagito is Nagito just like had this, um, he, he claimed it was all for hope. It really isn't. So this is Back to the Future? Wow. I like all the references. Actually, oh. I thought, I thought everyone was gone. Where did he run off to? Probably with some other woman, uh, woman I bet. <laughs> That's fine, as long as she's happy, I'm fine with that. But you're freaking brothers and sisters, my god! Oh, what is he doing? What kind of an ending was that? And that was way too long for an announcement. Well. I need to go to the dining hall. Hmm, where are Miyu and Kokichi? I understand why Kokichi's gone, but where's Miyu? Mm -hmm. She's probably still messing with that computer on the fourth That's floor. Right. Or she might be in her lab working on another invention. I saw many half-built machines in her lab when she performed maintenance on me. Mm. Well, missing, messing with machines and computers is all she's good for. What could she be up to? Huh? Gonta, what's wrong? Um... Gonta's still thinking. Since yesterday, how can Gonta be useful? But Gonta can no think of anything so frustrating. Come. Okay, but you don't need to make such a scary face. Besides, it's not just you. That's something we all gotta think That's about. Right. We all should be thinking about what we can do to survive. Mm. Use your self-destruct system to save us. That's how robots make themselves useful. Hey! Yeah, it does. It's, it's pretty much true, though. <laughs> Even though that is true, at least hesitate before you blurt out something like that. But you admit it's true, huh? Yes. I'll keep thinking about it, too. If I come up with a good idea, I'll tell you guys. Right. Now that you Now that that's settled, let's eat. If you don't eat well, you can't think well. He's always cheering everyone on. What a good guy. Ooh, we were, un, we were completely unaware that an unspeakable malice was brewing. You got me. You got me all hyped, game. Uh-oh. This is different. Hello? Oh, Mew! Hi! Hey, Guichi! That's not my name! What about Guichi? Spoochie? 
Pick a, pick a nickname huh? you want. What are you doing here, Mew? I figured virgin. me and the twins could swing by and pay your virgin a visit. Got a bill? <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> what are you here for? Ah. What am I doing here? Cheer up. Thanks to me, you get to leave this confining uh, huh? place. We can escape? Booyah. Just come to the computer room on the fourth floor of the academy. But there's no rush. If you want to... Okay, I'll go. <laughs> She she got to she got to stop. I am so right about this. I already know it's gonna be a VR headset. That's that's the only way. It just makes sense. Whoa, guys, the school is so spooky at night. Hey, what is Himiko doing here? Himiko? What? Oh, hello, Shuichi. Did Miyu tell you to meet okay. up too? So everyone got the same mm -hmm. message. She said we'd be able to get out of here, but this all smells really fishy. My magical instincts are telling me not to get involved with Miyu, what? but she might have found the only means of escape. We should go, just in case. You're right. Himiko, what's wrong? No. I just remembered how Tenko would always grab my hand and pull me along at times like this. Uh, okay. I can picture Tenko taking your hand and saying, I'll protect you. Hmm. Alright, I'll learn from Tenko and move forward. Well then, should we all go on ahead? You should head over soon, too. I knew it. I knew it. I see the headsets. Hmm. As I suspected, everyone was brought here. Don't Fucking act all depressed virgin. just because you didn't get to spend any alone time with me. Huh? Do I look depressed to you? Actually, There's no way we shouldn't show up when we were told there's a chance to escape. Mm. But I still think it smells fishy. Uh, Doesn't it smell like something fun is gonna happen instead? Please. You always seem to show up for stuff like this. I've got you figured Get out. It. Thanks, the key to our mutual friendship is understanding each other. I'm right already. So what's this way for getting out of here? Mm. Is there really a way? Sure. A dahoy? Of course there is. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> da the doy. <laughs> of course there is. Geniuses like me never make hey. mistakes. So how are we gonna escape? Out of my way. We're going to another world, a world with no killing games and no Monokuma. Huh? Oh god, this isn't gonna be good. What is she gonna put? Oh god, she's making us bow to her. Okay. Huh? Shouldn't you be the one bowing down to us? You want us to listen, right? Then get down on your knees and beg like a dog. Why? Well, isn't that weird? Get it? Everyone's wasting their precious time on a worthless piece of trash like you. So you better come down and beg. Come on, hurry it up. Um, Why, I stayed up all night getting this ready for everyone. Alrighty. Okay, then everyone, let's go. Wait. What the heck? What what the heck? Diff I wanna talk about it. What is this change in art style? What the heck? I didn't expect this. What was up with that? They, they just like forgot to finish that or what? No, I think it was just like an artistic thing. Hmm. Actually, I feel sorry for her. <sighs> Let's at least hear her out. Did you hear uh, Mew? Good for you. How long are you going to be depressed for for you, so? So? It's like a cow, right? Hurry up and tell us, Squid Breath. <laughs> yes, sir. Please um, so when me. I said another world, I was talking about this big computer. Huh? What's this? Um. This is a device you connect to the computer that you put on your head. It uploads your consciousness so you can go to a world created by a computer pro- Oh my god. It's Sword Art on Danganronpa. Sword Art on Danganronpa. <laughs> what? A world created by a computer program. Don't. Oh, got to understand. Uh, exit is in the computer. <laughs> computer. Oh, got to. I just want to hug you. So we got to break it open and go in. Ah! If you try to force your way in, you'll just destroy it. Mm. This means a virtual reality, right? Um. It's more than just virtual reality. It's a virtual world. Because your consciousness will be able to move around as if you're in a real world. Huh? Oh, so it's the Matrix. I saw a movie about that sort of thing on TV when I was little. That being said. All right, now let's huh? go. Uh, like to the virtual world? Sure. Yeah, let's all go together. I don't wanna. No way. <laughs> Why? You promised that we'd all come at the same time. What? I didn't promise you anything. What were you talking about? Um, Just in case, I should ask a question. Uh, what's gonna happen to our consciousness when we're inside the computer? Right? So we use avatars as the new bodies to our uh, consciousness to the virtual world or to link it. Why? How do you know this? <laughs> you told me already. I helped her prepare our trip to the virtual world. I brought all the seats here. In exchange, I made her tell me the reason. Uh, um, so that's what the apology was. So what you guys are talking about? What's this avatar? Which means... They're characters that will represent you while you're in the virtual ah. world. And it's VR chat, essentially. But the fact that it's tr it takes their consciousness, it probably sounds deeper. It sounds like something from Danganronpa 2. And shove them in avatars inside the virtual world, and then... We'll have new bodies in a new world, a world without murder and Monokuma. Uh, but what happens to our real bodies? Mm. Your body will basically be asleep for the duration. In that sense, it'll be like a dream. Booyah! Let's go. No. Like I said, we're not going. It's definitely dangerous. <laughs> Shut the freak up, donkey. Let's, I'm telling you, it's not da dangerous. I don't wanna. Saying that makes it even sound more dangerous. <laughs> Am I really that untrustworthy? Well, then you'll be relieved to know that I didn't even create this virtual world. Someone else made it, apparently. Someone else. Well, let's go. Come on. Why am I not surprised? Leave it to us. Show your sign. 
course, everyone's everyone comes. Daddy, you can really do anything. Which one is my daddy? Father! He's my daddy, Please Kokichi. Stop. No, I'm not. Now then, allow me to explain. I use a certain program as a template to create the virtual world. And that program is the Killing Game Simulator. What? Killing Game? Yeah. Well, with that, I've made up my mind. I definitely won't go in there now. Wait! Wait, I said wait! You can't! If Monokuma made it, it's dangerous for I, sure. I, I pulled an all-nighter investigating it, and I deleted everything dangerous from it. It's definitely safe, I swear. Wait. There's no need to worry. It's just a simulator, right? No. no, this is Monokuma we're talking about. It may not even be a real simulator. Dun, dun, dun. Daddy's right. Whose side are you on? I'm not your daddy. How cruel. Why would you not accept him as your child for now? For now? I can't play along. He's not even my child. Enough. You guys are only bleh because you haven't been to the uh, virtual world yet. Once you go, you'll understand. Seriously, it's so freaking awesome. I know you guys will love it. And then you're going to fall in love with me for showing it to you guys. Come with so let's me. just dive right in, okay? We'll do it together. But, but it's a world that Monokuma created, right? The tip is fine. If you... <laughs> The tip of what? By the way. <laughs> well, you just said you pulled an all-nighter adjusting everything, right, Mew? So that means it was originally a killing game simulator, but not anymore, yeah? Okay. Yeah, that's right. I rewrote the program to delete all dangerous objects that could be used as weapons. Mommy! That's what, good, uh, that's what a good mommy would do! What? Mommy? Yes. What's this weird sensation in my chest? It's like what it feels to be a mom. How exciting! Let's trust Mew. We should just trust in our friends more anyway. Why? Why are you on Mew's side? Uh -uh. Kokiji literally will say anything. I'm not taking her side, but it's like I have a feeling we'd find something in that world. What is it? Something. Hmm. It's probably a clue, yeah. Like a super duper crazy secret hidden in that world. Uh, a um, secret? <laughs> well, Bonakuma, did you prepare some sort of bait for us? Huh? Oh, a yeah, bait? Yeah, of course I have. <laughs> really? Is that the first thing I've heard of this? Okay. Or the first I've heard of this? Me too. Yes. Mommy's hearing this for the first time too. Oh. She accepted him. Yeah. Yeah. Like Okichi said, there's a crazy secret hidden somewhere in the virtual world. It's the secret of the outside world. Of course it yeah. is. I can tell you about the secret is that if you get your hands on it, Yay! you'll instantly learn what's happening outside of the academy. Uh, what's happening outside? What are you talking about? It's like he's saying something that is going out there, but uh, that can't be right. Mm. Do you think it has something to do with those meteorites? <laughs> Is your curiosity peaked? Then you'll have no choice but to go. So it's the motive. All right, let's go already. All right, basically everyone wants to go, right? Everyone's like, oh, but it might be dangerous, but we should go. So is the one that doesn't want to go, it's though. It's true. No matter how dangerous it gets, we should just, mm. we have to do it. Uh, I'll go too. Being left behind, it just makes you okay. worry. Yeah, everyone better go or else someone's going to die. Stop. If everyone's going to go, I will too. <laughs> okay, now everyone's going. Um. Kogichi, are you planning something? <laughs> Of course not. After Kaido punched me, I became a changed man. <laughs> and so relax. Uh, just trust me. That being said. Alright, then let's get started before you cockroaches change your dang mind. So, you gotta each grab a helmet and plant your butt in one of those seats. I understand. Okay, fine. After me instructing us, we gotta, uh, okay, we did it. They did it. You see those two ports on the back of the visor? Okay. You mean this? That's where you plug in the two cords that connect you to the computer! Ah, these cords. The red cord is for consciousness, and the blue cord is for memory. Oh. I could start throwing down some real fancy techno jargon, but you idiots wouldn't get it. This truly is next generation, guys. All you need to know is those cords will cram your consciousness and memory into the virtual world. Just don't shove them into the wrong hole! And yes, that is what she said. Bazam, bazunga. <laughs> okay, fine. If she said so, if she then, said so, which cords to which ports? Put the red consciousness cord in the right port, and the blue memory cord in the left. What if, what happens if they get it wrong? Out of curiosity, what happens if you switch the cords? I don't know. I've never done that before. Probably gets all glitchy or something. Maybe you'll become a vegetable. Maybe you'll body swap with someone. Who knows? Dude, that'd be crazy. Well. I guess we'll just have to be careful not to switch the cords then. It's okay. If you just stay calm, then there won't be any problems. Okay. So I hold my chopstick in my right hand. What's that have to do with anything? Calm down, Himiko. After some fiddling around, we were all hooked up to the devices. Listen up! You just gotta put the helmet on on your head. Finally, press the button near your temple and you'll be whisked away to the virtual world. A paradise more beautiful than the real world where there's no murder and no Monokuma. Someone got to press button, avatar person, take Gonta to virtual world's place. Ah. 
for the love of yeah, whatever. Just whatever makes sense to you. Hmm. By the way, I tweaked your avatars to make them resemble you guys. In fact, compared to your current looks, there are major improvements. Oh, I can't wait to see this. Congrats, Yumiko. You don't need to pay for expensive plastic surgery anymore. Hmm. <laughs> I'm still nervous about this. Shut up. Just shut up and freaking do it already, four eyes geese. Got All right, everyone, let's go. We can't ignore a chance to discover clues about the outside world. All right. Let's go. See ya. Well, this is different. This is gonna be very interesting. All right, they're going in. Attacking into the system. Welcome to the Neo World program. Oh, holy crap, it's the same. That's what it was called in Danganronpa 2, right? In an instant. Ooh, what if it's the island? That would be crazy. We were staying in the other world. Yes, we were there. What? <laughs> is it just me or is it this like corpse party? This is... So this is the virtual world. It seems like it's completely different from what we were told. These graphics are really disappointing. How are these supposed to be better than the real world? These avatars are really disappointing too. I wouldn't have the face of a supermodel. Hmm. I thought you liked your face. I still have a robot body. I must admit, I was secretly expecting more. So you were hoping for a change, Kibo? It feels weird. I can move this avatar like I could my own body, right? And with this body, I don't have to worry about all that stuff. Huh? What stuff? Ah. Ooh. It's nothing. It's kind of cute I'm though. Already. I want to go back. Wait. That was quick. Oh, this is the virtual world. I see, I see. And this is my avatar. Mm, I get it now. Oh. <laughs> How rude. Why? Oh. So that hurt. Oh, wow. Now that you mentioned, I felt genuine pain right now. Oh, this isn't good. Wow. That's pretty impressive. If you feel pain, then that means your senses are connected. Got a minute? So if you die in the game, you die in real life. That sure sounds like a... Hmm, something I know about. Ah. This place is so great. I come here all the time. It's way better than the real world. What the are you talking about, you fraud? This is totally different from what you said, plus these avatars disappointing graphics. Your looks are nothing to write home about, trust me, you look a billion times better now. What was that? By the way. Anyway, uh, what do you mean our senses are connected? I need an explanation. Um, Didn't I tell you? <laughs> but... It means that this goes way beyond the realm of virtual reality. We are actually connected. Wait, keep on feeling pain is kind of weird, don't you think? Please stop! Stop hitting me! Hmm. Uh, no one can do, even if they are avatars, I can never hit a person. That's robophobic. I can't escape your robophobia. <laughs> How are your senses up? Ah. Then your avatar receives any sens uh, sensory input. Uh, electrical signals are sent to your brain. Your brain has- Your brain then interprets those signals as if it experienced the sensory- The sensory input for real. So, so even if we're not really being punched, the brain senses pain because of those signals. Oh, I see. And since it won't leave any bruises, you can hit all you want. Oh. Dear. That's all- that's a bully's twisted logic. Hey, why are bodies like this? This Himiko's magic? Um, well, there's a lot of things that's going on right now, but you don't have to worry, Gonta. Uh, so, um, how are we supposed to find the secret of the outside world? You know, we don't even know where to start looking. Right. First, we need to learn more about this world. Is there a map somewhere? Ah. Uh, I've got a map, but first I want to give you a quick warning about this world. What? A warning? Alright, what's the warning? Oh, I'm moving! How cool is that? I love the change of gameplay. This is so, like, cool. Alright, guys. I'm gonna end it there. Uh, this was a really interesting episode, and I really want to know more, but uh, that's all the time I have for today. So, guys, smash like if you enjoyed. Thank you, guys. Uh, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.